Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy you stopped by. So today I wanted to bring you a review I am so excited for. It is a review on the NYX Butter Lipsticks. I know we've all been waiting on them. NYX has released over the course of last year the Butter Balms and of course the Butter Glosses which are kind of what started the whole butter trend for that company. And I just happened to be in my Ulta the other day and on the middle in the middle of the aisle they had the butter lipsticks out and ready for sale and had plenty of colors plenty of colors to choose from. So the two shades that attracted me to the most are BLS16 or Fun Size, which is kind of a nudie peach and I do have that on my lips right now. And then of course BLS07 Hubba Bubba, which is a nice baby pink shade. Now, these are in kind of the same type of tube that the um, matte lipsticks are in, I believe, and uh, kind of that plastic packaging, kind of cheaper, but these were $5.99, and of course, NYX every once in a while does the BOGO at Ulta, buy one, get one half off, so you can cut a pretty good deal on these. Overall, these lipsticks, I've been waiting on them so long, and I think I've built them up into my mind to be a little bit better than what they actually are. These remind me a lot of the formula of a matte cream sheen, I guess. However, this color Hubba Bubba, which let me show you the two swatches on my hand really quick. This is Fun Size right here, this nice peach color. And then this is Hubba Bubba, this nice pale pink. And I really think Hubba Bubba looks very nice on the hand, of course, in the swatch. And both shades do come off with nice pigmentation and a good amount of shine. However, on the lips, Fun Size is very nice, very peach, and Hubba Bubba sort of is kind of lacking in that pink color. It sort of just is a little bit, it almost turns your lips kind of a whitish color, and it does need a gloss to go over it because both of these do sort of sink into your lip lines because they are paler colors, which is sort of at fault with the formula of this as well as the fact that they're pale colors because... I do have some paler lipsticks that do not sink into the lines, however these do. But despite that, they have the same feeling as a MAC cream sheen lipstick, very smooth and buttery on the lips. And they smell divine. It's not an overpowering spell by any means, but it is a slightly sweet, it reminds me of cinnamon teddy grams. If you've ever had those then that is exactly what this smells like, but it's not going to be an overpowering scent that you're going to smell while it's on your lips. So overall, I would like to try more colors of these. However, if they're anything like the formula of these two, I think I'll just stick to the butter glosses and the butter balms because while they have wonderful pigmentation to them, the formula itself I feel is lacking because for this pink color to sink into my fine lines is kind of disappointing because the butter glosses that are in the lighter colors can tend to be a little bit streaky but you can work that out. This I tried to put layer upon layer. I tried putting less layers but every time it seemed to sink into my lips and I eventually did top it with a butter gloss and that made it better. However, I will definitely not be reaching for this color a lot or picking this back up once I run out of it. But Fun Size is a beautiful color. Definitely would recommend it. It's got a ton of pigmentation for a nude nice peachy nude great for this time of year and it will even transition you into spring there are some other colors i believe licorice and hunk are a little bit deeper more raspberry plum type colors and i would like to try those out so i might pick those up i'll for sure let you guys know in maybe a haul video or maybe another uh, get ready me get ready with me video if those are any good or better than these but overall not really a hit not really a miss if you want to pick them up for sure go and check them out I don't think you're going to be super disappointed with them. However, I don't think they're going to be your next favorite lipstick either. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Leave me some comments below if you've tried these lipsticks and maybe if you've tried any of the other darker colors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.